you'll be learning about 10 of the hottest SaaS Y Combinator companies that you need to know about. If you haven't heard of Y Combinator before, they are one of the top startup incubators with famous companies such as Airbnb and Coinbase coming out of them. Next up is a SaaS product that's grown extremely quickly. And within their first 20 days, they've gone from zero to over $100,000 in annual reoccurring revenue. It's called Origami Agents, and every Origami agent works like a dedicated human sales rep, analyzing social comments, press releases, and product pages to find your perfect leads. You can now use millions of these Origami Agents working 24 seven to bring you the top 1% of buyers for your solution every single day. This product has two co-founders, Kenson and Finn, and it's really utilizing AI as well as all the information out there to know exactly which prospects are prime to buy. Next up, we have a company called Permit Portal. It's founded by Alexandru and Radu, and they're building workflows to help developers go from finding and closing development sites to getting a building permit faster. Permit Portal accelerates the most critical parts of the pre-construction phase, finding the right sites, understanding entitlements, and navigating local development sentiment. So if you're a developer, you can get shovel ready 50% faster, and it's gonna leverage AI to do so using natural language, site search, as well as automated workflows. This is one of those companies that is really taking something that was probably very manual. Having to really read through a lot of this, such as all the permits and really understanding it would probably take quite a bit of time, as well as doing things even just like tracking project statuses, managing documents. Those could be a huge headache and this tool is gonna to help with that. And it's gonna turn everything into plain English. I have to imagine is using reg to help make it easy to query into these documents as well. So you can ask questions such as, what permits do I need for a 50,000 square foot warehouse? AI is also gonna analyze regulations, permit history, and planning commission meetings to give you deep insight into any city's development landscape. Next up is gonna be a product called Melder. They're gonna help automate painful parts of supply Supplier data integration from PDF extraction to duplicate matching to spend analysis. It's going to help surface opportunities that are usually buried in unstructured data. It's founded by Philip and Ashwin. They're the two co-founders behind this product. And it's a tool that's going to help you realize benefits from supplier integration through AI enabled data processing and analysis. So the AI agents are going to do quite a few things such as reviewing contracts and identifying savings. Coblox was founded by Kevin and Nisola. It's a thoughtfully designed data platform that helps teams write queries and automate workflows faster. It's gonna do things such as understanding the columns, tables, and relationships in your data and use them to help anyone on your team build pipelines with AI. Whether it's SQL and Python, think of them like Zapier plus Cursor for data engineering. So it's gonna include quite a few different tools here, letting you deploy pipelines faster than ever. Asha Health is gonna help you launch your own AI clinic. And it's gonna enable medical practices to launch their own AI clinics designed to fill crucial care gaps that their brick and mortar clinics are too overburdened to address all while generating additional revenue on autopilot. This addresses a problem that 120 million Americans with chronic conditions get isolated physician visits once every few months. This isn't enough as they need consistent education, guidance and accountability as well as support but medical practices are too overburdened with their day-to-day -day operations to help address crucial care gaps like these. So each AI clinic here with Asha Health is gonna help seamlessly coordinate teams of AI agents and AI-assisted auxiliary staff to guide patients to better health outcomes. And it's gonna run on autopilot, generating additional revenue with zero effort from the practice's staff. By helping do things such as boost care delivery margins, improve performance on VBC outcomes, and decrease burden on providers. And the information on the problem came directly from Asha Health. If you've gotten this far in the video, I'm sure you want to build your very own micro SaaS product. And that's where I have you covered with a complete academy that's going to show you how to build, scale, and profit from your very own micro SaaS product. Even if you don't have any SaaS ideas, funding, or SaaS experience. There's a link for this in the description below, so make sure you check it out. I also have some free SaaS ideas you can steal. There's a link in the description as well for this below. Next up is a product called Riveter AI, and its plan is to become the co-pilot for corporate strategy, helping with growth stage companies like Gusto accelerate strategic decision-making using deep market research and analysis. And this product is designed for a specific audience, growth stage venture funded companies, as they have two main concerns. How do they maintain growth at scale? And do the metrics align with public companies for a successful IPO 
or initial public offering. So this tool is going to replace expensive consulting that can cost a million dollars plus and take months to provide a single report, which quickly becomes outdated. As Riveter is going to come in and automate the collection and analysis of private and public company data, so you can focus on making the right strategic decisions faster. SRE.AI is an AI-powered automation platform for DevOps teams that are currently focused on helping development teams build on Salesforce clouds. It's a very specific market there, and it was founded by Edward and Raj. So in terms of the problem this product is helping to solve, it's that as RevOps and Salesforce development organizations grow, complexity multiplies. Teams often have to patch together outdated tools and tedious processes to compensate. And over time, this creates technical debt, which leads to metadata merge issues, data backup challenges, and information silos. It becomes harder to share knowledge and communicate effectively, and all of this manifests into bulky processes and longer release timelines. So the solution is to build AI agents to automate Salesforce DevOps, allowing organizations to create customized executable workflows so the team can spend more time on important tasks. Next up, we have an AI assistant called Friday, and it was founded by Alan and Advait. And it's here to help make sure you never have to check email again. As for most emails, you don't really need to personally look at them. So Friday is gonna be here to help file away spam, sift through newsletters for important tidbits, text you important notifications, and reply to mundane emails. So no matter how many thousands of emails are in your inbox, you'll be left with just the few emails that actually require a personal touch. So they're building the perfect virtual assistant for your email. Next up is a product called Encore, and it was founded by Parth and Alex, and it's your all-in-one shopping assistant for discovering secondhand gems. It's trusted by over 20,000 shoppers in the world, and they make it easy to find unique treasures from across the internet. With their conversational search engine, you can seamlessly browse and refine your search across hundreds of resale platforms like Depop, eBay, Grail, Poshmark, and more. You can get inspired, follow product influencers, read unbiased reviews, and receive styling tips. And it's going to be in place plans to be the future of online shopping, as it's going to be an experience that flows naturally, allowing you to start broad, zoom into specifics, or expand to new ideas as you explore. Lastly, we have a product called Carmen, which is an AI assistant for construction project managers, helping them to save time by automating admin tasks like invoice approvals, RFI management, and change order tracking. It was founded by Jonas and Naman. It can help project managers save around three hours per day. So this concludes the video here on 10 of the hottest Y Combinator SaaS products that you need to know about. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video and if you wanna see more like this or if you have any other suggestions. If you liked it all, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below as well. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.